on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And on the mound today, Nathan Evaldi. How about a scouting report on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Jaron Duran in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Seven Next offering in there for a strike. And the count one and one. And strike two. And the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. And a one two again. Hard ground ball base knock. So a man on base to start the inning. Here's Rafael Devers. Just missed. Laser could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score and the Red Sox have the lead. One nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just an awesome swing of the bat. Quick hands and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. And fires in a fastball at 95. Man at second. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball. And the bottom just falls out of it. The next offering misses. And it's two and two. I think he wanted that call on the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed. So he can adjust his sights just a little bit. That one a little bit high, and now it's three and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Up the middle, a dive, nice stop. Nicely done for the out. Look at the commitment to make the play. Down on the ground, from the knees. That's not just arm strength, guys, that's core strength as well. Look at that rocket across the diamond. Outstanding job. Masataka Yoshida will hit next. And that's outside. Ball one. Just missed. Two and all to count. Here it comes. 
Little chopper rolls foul. Runner on at third, one gone. Almost got him. And there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Trevor's story now. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And misses inside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. This is again five in a row. That's in there. Three balls and a strike. And a foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Right-hander kicks deals. In the air, center field. Tavares settles under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 2-0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here's the rookie right fielder, Willier Abreu. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Left hand batter waits. He swings and fouls one off. Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And another ball. And now it's even up. Stays alive. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Two outs. And that one is inside. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Around third. He's safe. Comes through with the RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Man at second here with two away. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. Right through there for a strike. pitch popped up Simeon as this one sized up makes the grab and that's the inning three runs on three hits no errors and a runner left bottom half of inning number one coming up it's the Red Sox three and the Rangers coming to bat Back here with my pal Singy, and on the hill in this one, Nick Pavetta. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? 
Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Marcus Simeon in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you with the next pitch. And right there, he snapped off another curve. And it was the same result as the pitch before. So now it's Corey Seager. And that one just missed off the outside edge. You know, Corey Seager would have been named the American League MVP in 2023 if it wasn't for some guy named Shohei Otani. Stuffed out shining two-way player, but Seager did his best by putting together a full season with impressive numbers. And a foul ball. Seager may not have won the regular season MVP award in 2023, but he was named World Series MVP for the second time. Oh, now this is drilled to center. Way back there. On its way and gone. A gigantic blast. And they close the gap. It's 3-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty, one away. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes the 0-1. Right side, hard hit. Whips it to Casas, and that is the inning. The Rangers edge closer on this solo homer, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. And we're back. Now it's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. Vaughn Grissom. Ivaldi back to work. A little bit high. And that's ball one. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Boog, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yep, yeah, exactly. Kicks and deals. 
Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. The catcher, Connor. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. And a strike. Grissom on at first. Nobody out. Fouled off left side. Righty to the plate. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. Righty delivers. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Red Sox by two. Here at the top of the second. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And the pitch. On the ground, two ball. Over to second for one. On the low. It's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now here is Jaron Duran. First pitch misses. Two out spaces empty. That one fouled off. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. To third. Whips it to first on the run. They get the out, and that will do it. Back in Arlington, here's Josh Young. Here comes a pitch. Outside low, and that's ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The wide to kick the pitch. And another ball. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Wouldn't chase that time. And here it comes. In for a strike. And the count is one and one. That one missing inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One down, base is empty. Got him looking. Two away. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. 
not quite in the strike zone but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can now a chance for Jonah Heim the Rangers down by a pair bottom half of inning number two and a curve misses outside ground ball to the right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it Rangers go down quickly there and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Top half of the third inning down the third baseman Rafael Devers. Ivaldi back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. You know these Red Sox showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored on top of that they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And Devers is set down. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. The pitch. him looking that's a strikeout frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball sometimes you can overthink things and I think that was the case right there Yoshida in the box here lets that one go for a ball You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next pitch is downstairs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. There's the strike. Three and one. On a line, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. He was all over that one. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Story stands in now and watches strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Two outs. Fought off foul. Yoshida leads off first with two down to the inning. Got him. Out number three. One left for the Red Sox as the lead remains 3-1.
And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's going to be Leody Tavares. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Rip to short. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Ezekiel Duran. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Left field, way back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. That one misses. Ball one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. With the tying run at the plate, here in the last half of the third. Check swing. No appeal. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And the slider just misses. Corey Seager waiting to hit for the Rangers. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Simeon is out. Two down. The batter, number five. Good stop. Seeger stands in now. He's already homered in this game. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then. If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That's off the mark. Two and oh. And another ball. Adolis Garcia. Waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss as he was late. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Three-two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One left for Texas, and they still trail it here, three to one. Back at Globe Life Field, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Willier Abreu. The pitch missed inside with the curve oh. 
He was late there, strike one. Into center. Tavares settles under it. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Now that left fielder, Tyler. Here's Tyler O'Neill. He's 0 for 1. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Man at first. Vaughn Grissom up next for the Red Sox. Ripped to third and caught. Timed it perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys on the corners because... You know, especially when it's a you know right-handed hitter for third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone. And if it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. Runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt, got in position quickly, and a strike down to second base to end the inning. And we're back, ready to go, bottom four. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And a curve misses outside. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball three. Well, these Rangers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Evan Carter. Grounded out his first time. Sliced hard, but foul. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And a curve drops in for a strike. On the ground, a second might be two. Over to Story for one. On to first, double play. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. Oh. Oh, no. Red Sox leading it by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. On the ground, right side. That ends the inning. Back in Arlington, ready now for the fifth inning. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. And he deals. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ballgame at this point. Outside corner, there's a strike. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time 106. 
Now batting Jaron Duran. And it's fouled away. And the right hater deals on the ground could be two on to Simeon now to first and it's a double play so a very fast developing play right there no margin for error nice double play on a fast runner up the line two outs base is empty Devers now one for two with an RBI double back in the first close but call the ball and it's one to know action in the pen down there Kirby Yates getting loose out there Burke getting cranked up as well two down nobody on and we're at the top of the fifth that one missed and that's in for a strike Swings through that one out in front that time. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. And he'll pull into second with two gone. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Man in scoring position with two away. And now Tristan Casas. And that's outside. Next pitch is outside. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Just missed. This one in the air. Young drifts towards it. And that is that. And yeah, the Red Sox leave one, but they still lead it 3 1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Nathaniel Lowe. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that one hammered. That's back there. That one is gone. A massive home run. It's 3-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Nick Pavetta departs, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming up. We'll be back in a minute. Here's Kenley Jansen. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Grounded out his first time up.
And a good eye there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Looking to get the tying run on base. And fouled off. And a 1-1. And that one fouled off. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Last half of inning number five. Not close with that one. Now two and two. Right-handed reliever. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Leody Tavares. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. One down, base is empty. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 0 2. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. Has to barehand it, and he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. One down, runner at first. Ezekiel Duran now at the plate. Doubled his first time up. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. Swings through that one for strike two. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Last chance now for the Rangers. Here is Marcus Simeon. There's a strike. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? With the winning run at the plate, they're the home team trying to pull it out. Devers. And that is the ball game. Well, a real balanced ball game. Three to two score. We saw some hitting at times. We saw some good pitching at other times. And I think very balanced, uh, very pleasurable game, I think, for the fans as well as for us up here in the booth. Watching the execution by both teams was really impressive. They did it in all facets of the game. A 3-2 final score in this one. Kenley Jansen picking up the save. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.